Hey, what's up everybody, AWOL here. Welcome to my home office. I've been working remotely for the last 10 years and I wanted to share my top five tips of how you can be happier, healthier, and more productive working out of your home office and working remotely. I wish I had known these things that I'm about to tell you when I got started 10 years ago. Now I'm living the dream. I'm making six figures from home as a digital marketing executive. And I want you to know those really practical things that just make your day better every single day when you're working at home in an office. There's so much conventional knowledge of how you should behave and what you should do there. But working from home, it's a total free for all. The heck should you do to be more productive and to make this thing work? Let's just get into it. So number one might be unexpected, but it is to get a good microphone and camera if you are working from home. So let me explain. So whenever you're on calls, when you're working remotely, which is the main way you're going to communicate with people outside of Slack and email and things, you want to look good and sound good in meetings. The more commanding your presence is, the better you look in the meetings you have with other people, the more they will listen to your ideas and they will think you're a high quality person. It's the same thing for an in-office scenario, if you take that as an example. The people that sound confident in meetings are well-dressed or well-groomed and just look like they're together. They're the people that stand out and the boss thinks, you're doing a good job. Well, guess what? It's the exact same way. When you work remotely, maybe even more so when you're working remotely, and if you have that nice audio and that nice video for meetings, then people are going to take you seriously and respect you way more than somebody who's got garbage audio and a garbage built-in webcam. If you want some suggestions on equipment, I'll put them in the description below. I've tested everything (laughs) there is to test in terms of USB uh, cameras, webcams, DSLRs, and also microphones. I'll give you a cheap option and an expensive option depending on what you wanna do. But what you see right now is the way I sound and look in meetings. I literally use this setup in meetings and I look and sound better than anybody. And people are always like, hey, well, you're so on top of your game. I think the way I look and sound contributes to that. Tip number two is do not work in your PJs. So there's this whole idea, right, that people are in their home office, in their PJs, uh, you know, snacking on Cheetos and with their slippers on. There's plenty of research that backs up the fact that if you uh, don't wear shoes, if you don't get dressed for real, and you try to work from home, uh, you're gonna be less productive. You're gonna get more distracted, and you're not gonna be able to get in that professional mindset that you need to actually get stuff done when you're working from home. Every day when I wake up, I take a shower, I shave, I do a stretch, I put on my shoes, and I dress up like I would be dressing up if I went into an office, uh, you know, based on my profession, and you should do the exact same thing. Uh, If you're in your PJs and you're in your slippers, you're gonna do PJs and slippers caliber work. If you're in a nice dress or you're in a nice button-up shirt or you're looking tight, you're gonna be doing tight professional work. It just is the way it is. You, uh, You know, the way you dress greatly impacts the way that you think about yourself. And also, to my point a moment ago about being on camera in calls, You want to be on camera as often as possible. And when you're on camera looking good, looking nice, the client, the company is going to think that you're on top of your game uh, and that you're taking the job very seriously, which is extremely important when you can't actually see somebody doing the job. Trust me, it makes a huge impact on your own productivity and how much people perceive you as being productive. Tip number three is to buy a pair of computer glasses like these. I'm not sponsored by this company. I've owned eight pairs from this company, never made a dime from it. Uh, Gunner Glasses is the company I recommend. I've bought my employees uh, Gunner Glasses and I've covered them uh, as an expense in the past because they're so freaking good. Uh, Any computer glasses are fine, but Gunners are the ones I use. And what they do, you can see that these glasses kind of have a yellow filter on them. Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. But basically, it filters out the blue light when you're looking at all of your monitors all day long, and it gives you slight magnification. They also have prescription versions. But why should you care? Uh, Because it reduces your eye strain looking at your screens all day, and it 
helps uh, protect your eyes in the long term because we're all going to be looking at screens uh, long term, whether it's our phones, whether it's monitors, whatever the next technology is going to be. And it helps you focus more effectively. You don't have to take breaks as often. I don't get headaches. I'm able to focus on things like spreadsheets for much longer, and it just increases my productivity. And many pairs of gunners are under a hundred bucks. Uh, the prescription ones are a couple hundred bucks, but they're under a hundred dollars, and they're pretty high quality metal frames. And they have ones for men and women too. Buy computer glasses. Buy a couple pairs. Invest in protecting your eyeballs, <laughs> your main asset when it comes to working from home off of a computer, right? Trust me on that one. Okay, link in the description below just to get you started on some of your shopping there. Tip number four is to take breaks at least every 1.5 hours, every hour and a half-ish. Okay, so that'll mean about four breaks a day-ish uh, and a good break, a good at least 15-minute break. No joke. Uh, and... What should you do on that break? Get out of your office, walk away from com your computer, don't look at your phone. Don't look at any screens, don't look at any notifications, don't take any calls, don't do any digital input into your brain, your eyes, your anything, okay? No digital for 15 minutes. What are you gonna do? Go outside is a huge one. Just walk outside, shoot some hoops, walk down the block, don't talk to anyone, just take a break, okay? Another thing you can do on break is just eat a healthy snack. So try your very best when you're working from home to stock up on healthy snacks like trail mix, fresh fruit, uh, yogurts, parfaits, things that are delicious but also healthy that you like. Get those options in your pantry, in your fridge, instead of Cheez-Its, instead of uh, hot garbage. Eating a healthy snack when you're on break gives you some nice energy when you come back and you don't feel like total crap, uh, you know, like you would at an office break room when you eat the donuts in there and you go back to your desk. The donuts were delicious, but you didn't get any real energy from them and you kind of feel like crap now. When you're working from home, you need to have energy and focus because you're going to be judged entirely on how productive you are, not on how good you are at making friends and doing internal politics in the office. It's way different working from home. And the third thing you can do when you're taking a break, which I very highly recommend, is doing full body stretches. Uh, I do push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, and a full body stretch every day. Light exercise every single day while I'm on my breaks, not looking on my phone, not doing anything else. And it, when I come back to my desk to knock out that project, I knock it out like in minutes. Whereas in the office or, uh, you know, previous work situations I had, it might take me hours to ramp up, to do those emails and those expenses or whatever, okay? So that's tip number four. The final tip, tip number five, is the power tip of the video. So thank you for tuning in uh, to the very end of this or watching to the end of this video because this one's the most important in my opinion. And this is something I wish I knew years ago. Tip five is plan blocks of time just to work that don't have any calls in them, okay? So when you're working from home, it's easy to think, I need to be productive and busy and take a lot of calls with people and talk about our work. Uh, don't do that, especially at the beginning of your day every day. Just put into your calendar so that nobody can book you a block, one an hour toward the beginning of your day and at least one hour toward the end of your day. Nobody can touch it. It's just you being able to work uninterrupted. Nobody can book you, okay? That's your most productive time. And if you can make that one hour block at the very beginning of your day, God, your day will just, you will crush the rest of your day. Use that hour, knock out those emails, Knock out that spreadsheet. Knock out those tasks that you hate doing at the beginning of your day when you're fresh and you're ready to rock, and the rest of your day is toast. It's so easy. It's so gravy for the rest of your day if you have those blocks of time just to work, especially at the beginning of the day. Respect yourself. Control your own work and your own schedule by booking time for yourself to get your job done. Don't be at the mercy of other people when you're working remotely. It'll reduce your anxiety and you'll be way more productive. That's my five tips. Quick review, okay? 
Take out a notepad, take out whatever, write these down. Tip number one, go to good mic and camera, link below. Do not work in your PJs, tip number two. Tip number three, buy a pair of computer, sun, computer glasses. Tip number four, take a break every hour and a half. And tip number five, plan out blocks of time on your calendar just to work uninterrupted. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like that highly, highly motivates me to make more videos like this. Share it with anybody else that you know that works remotely. And you can subscribe and enable notifications if you want. I do lots of tips videos like this to help people that are trying to do digital side hustle from home. Uh, I just want to share my knowledge with you. I love working from home. I love and am grateful for the level of success I've achieved. And I want to help you achieve the same. I'm not selling you any garbage. I'm just giving you real talk. Thanks for watching. Good luck working remotely. And hit me up in the comments below if you have any questions. Adios. Enjoy.